Gentlemen, are you ready for our first match of the day? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Then we'll take a look once again. Four players invited to the next uh, weekend because they ranked top four on the ladder. That is Focus, Moon, Foggy, Chemico. Yesterday's games gave us Fortitude and Lawline for the top eight as well. So we need two more. And our bracket here to start the day is Spiral, Sock and Dice. We start with the best of three between the German Night Elf, former Orc for Raptor Gaming and Sock for the Africa Freaks. And I think we are in-game, as far as I can see. We definitely are. Ladies and gentlemen, let us go into this game. I can't wait to see these games unfold. We have a best of three, of course, a big map pool, so a lot of pick and ban uh, was going on beforehand. But now it's another human versus night of that brought us so much joy yesterday. And of course, the new Back to Warcraft. Overlay, let's go! Ah, beauty! Beauty, the best thing for us here in the Back to Warcraft team. We can actually see the overlay while casting. It's a revolution! Yeah, really great what uh, has been able to be done here. Also, to just see more of the map, a modern UI. We were hoping for that with Reforged, uh, didn't get it there, but having it here. Pretty cool. We're starting off on Titaners for our first map. This is normally considered to be a pretty good human map. Spiral not vetoing it. Surprises me a bit, but of course we do see it a fair amount in this matchup. Maps will be uh, Titaners, Autumn Leaves, and Concealed Hill, I believe. And we're starting off pretty standard. AM against Keeper, Fast Expo. Let's go. Okay then, Archmage. Already level two, so is the keeper who comes in with a little bit of harass. Nice deny by Sock. And Tangle, though, can't prevent that. You will lose one or two units in the early game. That is calculated. The thing is, can you keep your workers safe and can you keep your expansion safe? And as we learned at the gym show match yesterday, it's ultra important to have the tower up. But if there's no tower, you can't take care of that. So off we go onto the peasants, onto the town hall. You have to be quick here with the micro. You really want to minimize these losses, even just HP losses, as much as possible. And you can see it takes a long time for just one peasant to go down. Sock super fast to react, exactly what you have to do. Some pressure on the archers, some pressure on the keeper. And the water elementals clean, clean up the, uh, the treants next to the peasants. Pretty clean defense here by Sock. Of course, some peasants go down. There's no preventing this. Oh, but the expo will come up. Great denies by Sock. He's been a little bit in the shadows recently because of the rise of uh, other human players like Chemico, like Johnny Cage, like Hawk. Nobody was really talking too much about Sock anymore, but he's starting off well into this series. Yeah, absolutely is. Next step here after the first bit of harass in the early game will be level three, the big power spike, hugely important. For both sides. For Spiral, we see the Keeper here with lots of mobility. Kelly Staff and Boots. This is a new trend that Foggy and Moon have been pioneering. Oh, but look at that aggressive play. Heals up from the Moon Wells, goes back to the expansion, looking for more peasant kills. This is starting to become quite painful. But with this move, he sort of gives up any hope for getting level 3 at yeah. a reasonable time. Man, Spyro with a knife between his teeth is getting a couple of more kills and it's not creeping at the same time. He was expanding at the moment or he is still building that tree of life and maybe wants to buy time and prevent that next or the first push by Sock for a little bit. Can't keep the tower down, but the echo damage is adding up. Tech starts now for Sock. Finally, the expansion is fully mining. Tower is coming. Arcane should be finishing. I say should. Perhaps it won't. The Keeper and the Archer are still around. Hyper aggressive early game by Spyro. Oh Absolutely not concerned with level 3. <laughs> what kind of game is that by Spiral? Rarely, rarely seen. Like, it would be relatively easy to get level 3 here, but why farm the creeps that you might need for a second hero if you can just farm the human? Yeah, that, that is of course gonna be expensive here to remake peasants, but gold isn't everything. Experience also very, very important. At some point, Spyro will have to go back. Like now, when the archers are gone and the keeper's out of mana, 
Yeah, another nice deny. Dude. Lots of great denies by Sock. And if Sock now gathers up five, six, maybe seven footies, runs across the map with his level three, and there's no level two entangle against it, that is the danger. That's the reason why the Keeper is the most popular hero against human, because there's no better hero in the game for dealing with footies and lots of footies in the early game. Oh yeah, are there still a lot of footies? They absolutely are, five of them. One was checking the right hand side, Spiral has already an expansion up, which he does not yet at least. It's ready, but it feels like uh, Macro is missing a little bit, because he's not starting the creep, he's not moving over, is a little bit of wasted time while Sock is threatening another attack. Naga second, by the way, for Spiral. We saw that yesterday by Lawlight on Last Refuge. That didn't exactly work out too well. He lost that game. Um, normally nowadays we see mostly Panda second or um, Demoner second. Sometimes even Tinker second, especially on this map. But here now with the Naga. Interesting. And you can see. The Keeper can snipe these footies too easily. He would love to get some more footman kills, get that level 3, but now it's daytime and these archers are getting hunted down. Oh, good luck, Spiral. Two archers about to fall. There's a little bit of moon juice left, but if you use that on archers, you can't use it on the Keeper, and then there's a little entangle, and then it's even harder to deal with the footman. Two of them hurt, another archer down, trying to threaten the archmage to finally move away. Defend finished now. This cloak, by the way, for the AM has been amazing. Dude, this year is the year of Cloak of Shadows. Yep. Not even trolling. Oh, yep. the Naga was about to drop. She gets saved with the Staff Keeper. Needs level three so badly. Normally, the Keeper's job at this point in the game is to chase around the human, use Entangle, kill so many footies, and the second hero can creep up for free. But Spiral, with how aggressive he was, he's, uh, well, receiving the punishment for it. You're a man of fashion, Remo. Is uh, is cloak the latest trends in in Milan and Paris as well? Should be. Well, uh, you know, I myself still am a big fan of uh, the religious monk uh, wear. So, uh, <laughs> not not personally my taste, but yeah, certainly it is very much uh, effective, and perhaps being. Um, not just for stylish purposes, but also for its utility here. Absolutely valuable. Why don't you they have the same haircut back. then, Remo? I think we should make a stretch goal for you getting a monk haircut. How about that? <laughs> I mean, if you like it that much, huh? how much do you like it really? Oof. You know, um, I have done many stupid things before on stream and I'm willing to do many more. But that's, 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 that's kind of, you know, it's kind of stretching at the limit. Final level three for the keeper. The panda is here. AM, by the way, got lots of experience. He's close to four now. And Spyro just seems to be falling apart. One more save on the Naga with that staff. Oh, nice and tangle. Saving the Dryad. But just footies and AM. We've seen it so many times before how much pressure they can apply against the Night Elf. And Spyro didn't respect this enough, I feel. I think he just simply didn't prioritize creeping properly in this game. Yeah, updates are finishing as well, so more damage. Whoopsie, a little spike for me. Oh yeah, that was a big one. That was a big one. Still a Murgle here. Unbelievable. How long are we into this game? Almost 10 minutes. Expo, not up. Naga never made it to level 2. Unbelievable. With more Dryads, perhaps finally this expansion can be secured, but this is so much time that Sok is buying. He's making the mass farms, sitting oh, yeah. at 50, banking up. This is the classic human play. Fast expand, harass, and then overwhelm with a big human death ball. Sok could also play it slower and go tier 3 if he wants, but there's a real opportunity here to finish this game momentarily with a big push. It's not too far away, I guess. Spiral only 38 supply. Tier 3 will help, but uh, still a little bit further down the road. Whew. How do you get out of this now? Can you go for another e Echo Harass, or do you have to focus on your own progress with heroes and such? I think Spiral's in a real bind here. Um, if he had a stronger second hero, like a Demon Hunter or a Panda, you could use that hero to heavily creep up now to level 3 or 4. And then uh, do like the new colorful style. 
with Keeper and, and Dryads running around the human bases looking for stragglers, buying time. Buying time, so important to get the creeping done, to get the bears out, and the strong second hero. But this is a Naga second. This isn't really a late game carry hero at all. Nope. He's just like, all right. Really rough. Level 4 Archmage now. And level 2 Panda now. Boots of Kalthalas, of course, not that amazing for him, but. Uh... You know, very tanky, can stay in the front row, fight the other bears. Spiral, pretty good item here with the vamp aura. That will probably help him, but will he even have master bears ready? Tier 3 just will finish in a second. Two pairs of boots on the panna. Not sure if he's going to be invited to the fashion show in Milan. <laughs> Maybe one of those pairs at least has some fur on it, though. Then we can forgive him. Sark is building up the big army. Only thing he's missing here is perhaps a big consumable from the Magi. Get level 3 Panda and then it's go time. There's also a marketplace here you can take a look at. There's nothing too great in there. Maybe claws, but whatever. He finds a scroll of the beast. Hallelujah. Yeah, good luck. You kind of need to dispel that with a couple of wisps. There should be some wisps, of course. And we have the first orbs of the game as well. Is there still a chance? Spiral needs an insane fight to even hold this. Is he ready? It's looking dire. It's looking grim. It's looking dismal. Only two bears, four dryads are gonna have to do the job right here. We saw before, by fortitude it was, right? How good the panda can be against the bears. Bear on bear action with lots of breakers. And a good caster backline behind that. In fact, this is exactly the same build, right? No more teams. Yeah. He does have a workshop, and I see he's going tier three. So Sock is willing to transition into the late game here. Doesn't want to have to finish the game right here necessarily. <sighs> and again, I come back to the Naga. Considering that hero, there's no reason I would say not to take this into the very late game. Lucky break there to not lose another bear on Spiral side. Yikes, this... Okay, he's getting a little bit more time. He can hold on to this for a little bit longer. Well, I'm trying to fix these spikes that we encountered. Hopefully better soon. Okay, double heal scroll now against the panda. That's nice. We do have invisibility, which always helps. But yeah, like, what do you do with this Naga? It's really not a big issue. We see tier 3 on Sock's side, so maybe he's adding... Yeah, he is adding Mortar Teams now, because Mortar Teams, as we discussed yesterday, Remo, only get real good with Frag Shards. Absolutely. The Frag Shards upgrade is gonna make, especially life for the Dryads, very dangerous. We've seen Colorful and Lawlight micro microing those Dryads wonderfully, never allowing the connections to really be there, but you have to really be on top of that. Good thing is, you're Night Elf, right? So the rest of the army can just be on A-click. But the Dryads, you gotta be careful to control. Trying to buy some more time with Orb of Venom, Antrians, and Entangle. That seems easy. He sees the Mortar shot, so he knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. No second Orb yet, not on the Naga. How does he have so much Lumber? He doesn't have a Shredder. He, uh, he borrowed the, lumber. the Jamiko Lumber Hack. Are Undeads also allowed to borrow that? Nope. I would love to. Nope. For the next qualifier. No. Gotta, gotta play human then. Nah, it's not worth that much. <laughs> 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 Alright, the big fight in the middle. This one might decide the game. Slow apply on all the bears. The Dryads do find the way into the back, kind of, but also getting greeted by the Rifleman. Did he use the scroll or is this more stolen? I'm not even sure. Hmm. And an oh. Alchemist third for Sock. Love it, love it, love it. I'm absolutely in love with human triple hero and tier 3 play. It can be pretty slow to come online, but once you're here, it is so powerful. Yeah. And too much for Spiral to hold on against. Oh man, these bears are just going extinct. Down to 55. That's pretty much nothing. Keeper is about to fall as well. There's no TP anymore with the next hit. Whoa, spike, 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 spike. Big spike yep. on me. Oh my... Rough conditions. Yeah, everybody's spiking here. Holla. Spiral perhaps not spiking? He's not pausing. No. 
Well, to be honest, I don't think it matters nope. that much at this point. He used all his pauses in Dreamhack. How many did he use? All of them. All of them. <laughs> you know, it's like mana region. You gotta make use of it. Of it's course. a resource, bro. You gotta make use of it. Yeah, Jack, you're right. Oh, we see Sorcerer's Master Training. Maybe these bears will have a future as sheep soon. Could also be pretty fun, you know? Go out on the meadow, eat some grass. You're never gonna be cold as a sheep until this, the shearing happens. Yeah, I was about to say, unless a uh, human comes into play. But I, I heard the domesticated sheep are completely freaks of nature and that they were bred to have this absurd amount of wool that normally they didn't even look like that. Crazy, right? But where are the sheep, Neo? I don't not see them. here yet. It's not finished, this upgrade. It's just researching and Spiral calls for the GG and Sock takes the 1 0 lead. Huh. We had so much panda recently. We keep seeing pandas all over the place. In the FFA, it's all about the panda ultimate. Yeah, that was a pretty solid game from Sock, um, <clears throat> macro wise, all around. I think the biggest mistake there from Spiral was, like Rima pointed out, just not having that level three to deal with the footman. Then his expo got delayed because even if Sock doesn't get damage in the main base when he initially goes in with the defend footman, that whole time the expansion's not being crept and it's not mining, he probably loses about 2k gold just from that footman pressure. Maybe even more. It could have been like four minutes of mining potentially that he loses. And then he still holds with hero focus, which was really nice from Spiral. I think that was really the highlight of the game was being able to hold that, that timing that even had like 1-1 one, one breakers with it. Um, but then it was really just, he had too little gold. But uh, yeah, I think the macro from Sock was really on point. I think it was me and you, Remo, talking about this yesterday a bit. The breaker upgrades, the skipping the mortar teams until going tier three, and just going pure rifle with yeah. three three priest, two Sork, and the rest all 1-1 one, one breakers. Really solid from Sock, I think, all around. And again, this was Spiral Server, just as we mentioned yesterday. Uh, we alternate a little here between servers, and this was Spiral's That, that means that Spiral's gonna win now, is what you're saying. Yeah, because everybody's losing it's games on their Hill, server. There, there's, there's an easy win and... here, possible, right? I know, I know. Um... Bro, I don't know if you know, but it's impossible, literally impossible, to lose <laughs> with Keeper Mass Hunt on Concealed Hill. Yeah, <laughs> it is. If Wait. the human expands, Remo. I know. I mean, I mean it's, 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 it's so apparent. I mean, whoever doesn't see that needs some. Is this one? Of, is this one of your guys's new memes, or is this someone else? Because I'm out of the no, loop on this one. That's the truth. This is the this new is never fact. lose a grunt in the early game sort of thing. I mean, I've been around for a while. I, I know all the trends that you guys set here, but this is a new one. <laughs> I mean, I've I, I've been saying this for a couple of moons that if all you right. expand on Concealed Hill and the Night Elf is playing Keeper Mass right. Hunts, okay, you okay. can't win. Want to make a bet if it happens? Yes, of course. All right, cool. All right, uh, let's see. Let's see. We're about to find out momentarily. If I cause... win, you shave your head like a monk. No. That's too much. <laughs> that's eyebrows, too much. eyebrows for monk haircut. How about that? <laughs> put your eyebrows on the line, Neo. <laughs> yeah, Rima? Um, when it happens, we're going to come up with something. But first, it will have to happen. Yeah. Right. When it happens, you will give me the l least possible thing ever because you will lose this bet, obviously. All right, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, map two. Suck once again on the upper right hand side for the Afrika Freaks on Concealed Hill, upper right hand side. Let's see if he decides to go for the expansion. That is so easy to punish. And then let's see if Spyro is a follower of my beliefs or if he doesn't trust the Mass Hunt. Yeah, Mass Hunt's coming pretty good on this map because uh, the peasants are always going to be pretty damaged after the first uh, creeping of the natural. Also, there's fountains to heal up on, which can oftentimes be the problem for Hunts players. But the good thing for the human here is it's a very reliable level 3 creep route. You go orange into green into expo, that's the normal one, or you can also skip the green, go for a faster expansion, and go for the green after that. 
And then normally you have level two water elementals against which huntresses can have issues. It was definitely pretty uh, fashionable for that reason for night elves recently to play a decent amount of keep mass hunts on this map. Mm -hmm. I would argue that it's only really um, viable here against top humans. Everywhere else, um, it's probably not going to work out too well. But here, it has been played a good amount, which also means Sock will be aware of the possibility. All right, Sock, uh, he might have learned from Chemico how to defend that creep if you go for that expansion, but maybe let's 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 see how Spiral does first. Creeping up with another keeper of the grove that was to be expected. Scouting footman makes his way over the typical opening. Those far, we have three farms. Heroes pop out, and just a creeping game at the moment. But Spiral already scouting for a possible expansion with the wisp upper left. A player's forces are under attack. That would of course be the norm, especially Chimiko. But pretty much every top human uh, always wants to fast expand against Night Elf. A little while ago, like a few months ago, Sok was still somewhat stubborn and would sometimes play one base, especially a con unconcealed. I wonder if that has changed or not. There's a hunt yeah, um, coming up. See, Revo Devo. Oh, it, it doesn't but, have to be mass hunts though. It could still be yeah, a tech. This is, that is uh, true. Both true. possible. Yeah, we've seen it before. I got all hyped for the mass hunts, but my eyes are glued if, to the bottom left hand side. We need a second engine of war. Yeah, second engine of war, and then we know. And of course, we need Sock to expand. Oh, but clear. since we have the fourth farm, this seems to be confirmed. Yeah. Question is just when. Yeah, Sock took a pretty long time to creep all this. He chased after a wisp, went like across half the map, then walks back. This isn't the fastest creep of all time. But maybe he wants to delay it intentionally, like Chimiko has shown. Wait until nighttime, go for the dust, and bring a whole lot of militia. All right, Spy, what's going on in your base? It's nice. time. Tech or Ancient of War? <sighs> yes, not the necessary gold for tech. Only 200 at the moment. Enter the war to wake up the creeps. Nice move. But all right. No mass hunts. Militia are here. Let's see how much damage he can do. All right. He's not taking though, right? It's the hunts all in. All right. What's the bet? But it's a single engine of war. It doesn't count. Doesn't count? Oh, he's going to hide it. He's trying to hide it. Oh, he's hiding APs. Yeah, ah, okay. Nice. This might actually work. <laughs> he can get four APs up. <laughs> <laughs> it might work. That's, that's nice because that's, as, as the human with this creep, you have to retreat at some point. Nice little dancing with the Keeper of the Grove. And here are the four wisps. Need to push with AP soon. Uh, but yeah, as he a human... This and he just texts. <laughs> it would be pretty disastrous for Spiral. Yep. Oh, he goes for the boots. Oh, that's not a good investment right now. That's not a good investment for this kind of game. A town is under siege. He's brute forcing this expansion. Well, yeah. Good luck, man. There's a peasant down in the main, and he's not scouting this at all. Oh, Militia running out. He sees it now. But he cannot cancel all of these, I believe. Don't think so either. He like, almost TP. Yeah, yeah. There we go. He's TPing. What a play from Sock. That's so call sick from Sock. Unbelievable. Call to Ops. Oh. He's canceling all of them. Oh, no. Yeah, we've seen this strat like two or three times before the last couple of months, so this this is not completely novel. Spiral risking everything here, and that didn't work out, boys. But he still has the tech advantage. Well, and Sokka's playing one base now. Is he, though? I don't think so. Oh, okay, Expo. It's a very late expo, then. Yeah, but Spiral's got hunts in the late game. Or, well, all right. We're far, we're far away from the late game. But, uh, you know, moving into the mid game. Interesting Didn't know. game state now, certainly. I feel like we said this yesterday as well. On this very yeah. map. What, what was the game again? Colorful was, vs. Fortitude. Vs. Fortitude, exactly. Yeah. It was the tower push that started that whole thing. Yep. I guess well, so it's was kind this of a, one. Yep, just the other way around. Shoes on the other foot. Hunts, oh man. It's the same play that Colorful did as well. Hunts and Keeper into the main. Let's kill some peasants. Two peasants down. The third one's gonna fall, but it's gonna be a TP forced. All the mana on the Keeper. 
And there's easily enough resources for Sock to power build the expo. I think this is a good situation for Sock. He's got the dust. No. He's gonna force the hunts to retreat. And this is always the issue with hunts. Like, once you can't just kill the opponent right away, where are you gonna get the value out of the units? Moon just is already dry. Three hunts, still very hurt. And nighttime's about to be over to be healing from the fountains. Um. Yeah. It's not that great of a position to be in. I wouldn't trade with a Spiral. A player's forces are under Hunters are really hard to make work. Like, I mean, all right, there's a very easy way to make it work or to try yep. to, which is double Ancient of War Hunts all in. Yep. But if the humans are very good in defending, it's kind of not so easy to win with that. But other than that, a different strategy than that, it's really hard to find the proper way to play them. Lawlight is a master at that. Spiral seems to be kind of trying to brute force this game. Trying to tower push, that doesn't work. Tries to attack into the main, <clears throat> that doesn't work really either. He's getting some kills here and there. Oh, the fountain wakes up. The fountain wakes right. up. The fountain wakes up. The <laughs> didn't you hear it? His <laughs> alarm was ringing. <laughs> he gets some good healing out of that though, actually. So yeah. Hunts are kind of in fighting shape again. Oh, the AM. Very far forward. He's got the telly staff though. <laughs> Doesn't want to have to use it yet. Oh my it's god. It's on cooldown. He's... 50 Ooh. seconds. Oh my god. It's on cooldown. Oh, what an opportunity. Wiggles out of that one. Both good at dribbling out of these uh, situations. Okay. A player's force is Where do we end up here? Archmage still hanging around. Still on cooldown. But I guess he wants to make most use of the hunts. And that is mass AoE into the passant line. Furiza walking back with the water elemental. This is again gonna kill some peasants probably, but the tech is on the way. <clears throat> lumber mill has started, and again, Sock's lumber is looking really good. He really did steal that lumber hack, didn't he? Yeah. And we need to lure, uh, learn more about economics because it always baffles us when a human is having a properly balanced oh, resource table. Oh, the staff might get cancelled. The keeper so close. That might have been the kill. Whoops. Okie dokie. Tier 3 on the way. For Spiral. Not uh, 40%. Dry at the spell also there. Spiral surviving this a lot longer than I guess we initially thought. A player's forces are under attack. That's... Of course, uh, not a good sign when you place down four APs and they get found and you have to cancel all of them. It's not? You get some resources back, but you know, there's such a thing as... Uh... God damn it, what's it called again? Speaking of economics, opportunity cost. Um... Yeah, Spiral, how's he gonna find his way back into this one? He needs to pull off a moon sort of comeback miracle to win this one. Poo. Supply, dead even. Tech advantage for Spiral. No sign of an expansion for him. So, Echo lead for the Light Elf. Got Riju enabled now. Blood Mage second against the Panda. I like it. Of course, Spiral scales a lot better into the late game with the Panda than with the Naga. Archmage is basically just a little annoying scout at this point. Hunter's experience is always great to have, but... Spyro's not letting that happen. Lasted. Important. 317. Ooh, got it. Here's the Hunter Stone. That's level 4 for the AM. That's always amazing to have. A fast level 2 aura. When the casters and second hero come out to already have that aura right away. And of course also to help out the Archmage instantly. There's still a chance here for Spyro. Especially Concealed Hill is known to be a map that can be very used, can be used very well by the Night Elf to uh, creep contain the human. Meaning... To have a strong army, 50 supply bears with a level 3 panda, and then use that map control to creep the available camps. Like the enemy lab, the red camp, and then there's basically nothing that the human can creep anymore in the mid game. So very smart right now by Sock to creep this lab right now while he can before Spiral is taking it away from him. Okay, let's Spiral's see if he does. A, a green camp. This seems like a bit of a waste of time. He got level 3. And now he pushes. Master yeah, I guess, training. I guess, Oh, master training is more than 10 seconds away. 
because that's when the new countdown animation starts in our awesome overlay. Yeah, it's going for the bust. Or All right, should. the first all-in didn't work. Now we have the second all-in, this time with a panda and three bears. Four bears! This is pretty scary. There's only two towers at the expansion. Sokka's gonna have to call some militia, I think, to slow this attack. Trying to panda with another breath of fire, getting big damage in. But can he reach in the back line? Yes, he's trying to, but mm, so much repair on that blacksmith. No chance to bust through this. You as an architect, you must love this. Yeah, great base build, absolutely. Sokka is so confident, he's not even calling the militia until now. Yeah. Most humans would have panicked, brought them right away, but he's like, nope, I got repair, I got elementals, I got slow. And look at just... Yeah. The composure by Sok, just absolutely sweating. Not a thing in this game. He knows exactly what he has to do. He has faced this many times before. Colorful, love playing this style for like half a year on this map. It's and a pioneer. So convincingly. Who? Okay, what now? You had a plan A. That got scratched. You had a plan B. Also not working. What does Night Elf do as a plan C? Wait for season nine. What? Ah, wait for season champions. nine, then it was well, three champions nine. season nine. Okay, wow, I thought with all the movie and TV series references lately from you, I thought I missed something, but... No. I mean, Game of Thrones season nine, I don't think it's coming. People were not too happy with that <laughs> ending is what I heard. <laughs> yeah, how about they reforge that and just do it again? Game of Thrones reforged, sounds like, sounds like yeah. a good concept to me. They should hire Pete Silver for that. Howdy, friends! <laughs> One breaker, finally, something going to spiral, I guess, but he still doesn't have an expansion. Oh. Sok isn't really fight ready yet, but you wouldn't think it by the uh, confidence that he's displaying here. He's still getting a 50 supply only, by the way. This is kind Needy. of scary still for Sok. He hasn't managed to get a big bank here so far. Still trying to brawl, but no castle tech at sight. So the st strong human upgrades only coming later, but flame strike is here. Wisps are running right into it. And here we see the issue of concealed health for human in the mid game. Like you don't really want to fight yet, but you kind of have to fight. You can't just give the whole map away to the night elf. You need to start creeping. But where do you go? Red camp in the middle is the only realistic place you can really go because uh, the fountains are a bit too hard or a bit too far away. But Sock wants to keep on brawling. Yeah, it feels like uh, this is a little too obvious. Of course, understandable, but also very obvious. Now it's falling back in supply. Sock still has 300 gold, can spend it whenever, at whatever. Just the human death ball at 70 supply. Breakers control magic, so not even the summons won't help too much anymore. And he's not really close to any important levels either. Creep Jack here. That's the only hope that Spyro still has. Huge Creep Jack with tons of kills. But Sox is going to TP out, realizing the position here is pretty bad for him. Invis plays this time enough to save the rifleman. And again, the level 2 Brilliance Aura. So wonderful to bank up mana on the Sorks, especially also on the Priests. And now Sok is about to have his A big Death Ball army. Under attack. Yep, 70 supply is usually where it's at. Two heal scrolls as well. So the value on this army is great. It found the Warsong Battle Drums as well. 7% damage on all the rifles. And Spiral feels forced to go to that fountain. Uh, this takes, yeah, as he said, with very little army, just takes too long. Look how fast Sock is creeping this in the meantime. That's level 3 on the Blood Mage, Quelthalas Boots. Kind of fitting, thematically, but bad item. True, that's his, that's his homeland. Should give him something extra. Says it. Ah. Should give him something extra, like a fourth fireball around his head or something. 
Maybe he doesn't appreciate it that much, though. Maybe he just feels like it's a tourist thing. You know, like, like <laughs> we, we we wouldn't be very happy to wear lederhosen, you know? Like, True. Yes, you it's know, cultural the, appropriation. That's what it all is. All the Americans saying, do you wear lederhosen at home as well? We, that's, that's, that's what's going on in Germany, right? Yeah, yeah. I walked through Berlin. Nobody was wearing lederhosen. I was really surprised. <laughs> Dude, well, actually, in Berlin, it could happen with how crazy they all are. I would be in for a Weisswurst, though. Oh, with, uh, what's that called? The, the sweet mustard? Mm. Yes. That's so and, good. And pretzels? And bretzen. That, that is actually amazing. What did you say? Bre bretzen. Ah. Oh, flame strike! Korea, oh. Korea! Sock looking to put the nail in the coffin. Spyro is fighting a lot more than in the DreamHack quarterfinal. But it seems a little hopeless here. GG! 2-0 and Spiral is out of Season 8. Nice try. Nice try. Respect the strategy, the hidden AP. If it works, it works real well. But, I mean, I wonder if Sock always scouts for those APs there, if that's part of just his expansion flowchart against Night Elf. Or if the Treants in the main base gave it away. There's sometimes when you're you're pressuring towards the expansion like he was with the Huntresses, but then he sent he was, kept sending two Treants into the main base, which is just pulling Sock's attention towards the main base. He loses a Peasant and he goes, oh shit, maybe I should send a Militia to scout for APs because he's being very aggressive with Huntresses right now. So I wonder if that gave it away or if Sock just always checks for that if he sees a Huntress. He probably always checks for it. So I guess in that case, it just doesn't work against Sock, unfortunately. But that was a really nicely timed Militia. And then after that, too difficult to come back um, in this matchup, unless your name is Moon most of the time. Yeah, he's really the only one that can try to make it uh, still. Maybe if you have like a Warden or something, but that is, of course... Not what we expect here, Sock. Now up against another Night Elf, also from Europe, as Sock is up against Dice now. One young European has fallen yesterday already. So what about the second one? Man. Yeah, it's a rough showing so far for Europe. Somebody has to step up and show these guys who's boss. Dice would be a great opportunity for him to do so. In the dream hack, so far it hasn't been going too, too well for him. Comparatively, especially to Johnny Cage, but uh, you know, today we we have a bit of a a, a bit of a uh, what's it called? A, a sh chef's recommendation: Night Elf versus Human all the way through. We're tasting the different courses. We're dissecting all the details. We're gonna appreciate all the little maneuvers, and we're gonna see if uh, he does better than Spiral did. Well, we've had lots of different styles of this matchup as well, which is. I want to say much more by the book. He'll probably have much more standard counter expansion timings and try to play a straight up probably keeper demon hunter game. So we'll, we'll see how that goes for him. But it will be all distinct styles for sure. Looking forward to that a, a lot. Uh, yeah, as you guys said, Spiral plays a lot different. Very, very, very aggressive uh, recently. Maybe he had little time or something. What do we know? But uh, yeah, good effort. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for uh, being very easy to work with throughout this entire orga of the War 3 Champions Finals. And now we have three more games, everybody. Dice vs. Sock, Talk vs. Neutron, and the Hitman waiting as well. Thank you, Boro Rush, for the 100 bits. Thank you, FVB, for the raid. And of course, you can support this channel with your subs. And your support here. We have a page up called backtowarcraft.com slash support where you see all the possibilities to support us. And I almost got that to work. Where is it? Where is my screen? Why is it not showing up? There you go. We have a Patreon where you can support us for what we do uh, doing these broadcasts here almost every day. Running the tournaments like War 3 Champions tournaments. 
etc etc uh, you get custom game evenings with that music and movie recommendations replay analysis coaching by the theory crafter and the coach himself what could be better i can't think of anything early access to the podcast early access or access to some secret uh, channels on our discord where you know a couple of people got access to that overlay early and were part of the feedback round so they had their hands in the development of the future of back to warcraft and a lot more go check it out we also of course have twitch subs enabled we got one-time donations possible via paypal and credit card and cryptocurrency and we got merchandise and if you want to support the beautiful company that is corsair you can easily do that uh by clicking on that link you get linked to the corsair homepage. then grab some gear because that gear is freaking amazing true <laughs> absolutely um yeah yeah that's why i didn't listen i'm trying i was trying to fix my microphone well, Corsair stuff is great. That's what he said. That's what that's what his cadence was, Remo Demo. That is absolutely correct. The best stuff you can get out there. All the hardware needs you have, Corsair got you covered. What don't they have, guys? They got microphones, they got mice, they got keyboards, mouse pads. We use them as well. Absolutely amazing. And they provided us with a little raffle, everybody. Over there at Gleam, you get linked. If you type in exclamation mark giveaway, I will do that right now giveaway boom up at gleam the season 8 finals because there is no season 8 finals without corsair giveaway anymore they just released a new mouse and they uh, want to give that away for free for the wonderful viewers of the back to warcraft war 3 champion season 8 finals corsair saber rgb wireless mouse because the future ladies and gentlemen is wireless just as the phone in your hand that's also wireless and on the desktop it will be the same very very soon so be uh, be a cool kid go for the wireless mouse we all have one i guess i do have one i'm not too sure if the other guys do but uh, i also have this beautiful keyboard the mechanical gaming keyboard k95 rgb platinum xt and it is the best keyboard i ever owned in my life not lying and that still has a cord though so that's the only thing i still have attached uh and also, Corsair gives away one headset so you can listen to this beautiful stream with wi wireless headsets while walking around, doing dishes, grabbing beer. How annoying is that if you if your beer is empty or your beverages are empty and you have to get up and you don't listen or you can't listen to the cast anymore. Well, with that headset, that is 100% fixed. Get in, click a couple of links. There's eight days left until the end of the season finals. And we thank you, Corsair. I actually do the dishes with this headset I'm wearing on wireless mode. Me too. <laughs> not kidding. Me too. Yeah, yeah, legit. I'll listen to podcasts or something. Because, you know, sometimes I have to bring my phone, but then I have to find it. And on my phone, I got to listen to all the ads sometimes and stuff because maybe I'm not logged into my Twitch or, you know, don't have the ad block on my YouTube. So it's like, it's good. I just do it on my computer. I get it locked and loaded. I just go to the kitchen. I'm good to go. 100% with you there, Mr. Carson. And... We are, of course, here celebrating the War 3 Champions Finals. So if you are not aware how awesome the War 3 C server is, let's give a little bit of insights here what you can expect at war3champions.com if you download the client. State-of-the-art matchmaking in 1-on-1, 2-on-2, 4-on-4, FFA, Footman Frenzy, Legion TD, Lion Tower Wars, Reign of Chaos, and Frostcraft. That is a lot of letters for this very game. You can be part of all of them or just one of them. Pick your gifts i guess if you want to contribute to this community you can do that at discord where uh, they always look for suggestions how to make it better discord the way to get in touch with the uh, coders there as well the hosting is probably the best about this entire thing instead of the three default servers that we have on battle.net we got 25 servers that is two and a half times more servers than I have fingers on my hands. That is a lot of servers. 
uh, around the globe to find the perfect conditions for all of them, for Oceania, for the South Americans, for the people playing in the Antarctica probably as well. And if you're on Wi-Fi and your connection loses up a little bit here and there, we got a reconnect feature that we re-engineered. Fluxu, you're a magician. And Toxi, you're a magician for the server and proxy uh, infrastructure that we got. And of course, as you see, we do run season end tournaments here as well, because that's what you're watching right now. Feel free to support the War 3 Champions team. If you can't support them financially, maybe, you know, just go to their Discord and praise them a little bit. Because they get a lot of shit from people who are, uh, you know... In this tournament. Who are <laughs> in this tournament. <laughs> from people who are, uh, you know... Uh, sometimes a little angry about like uh, hiccups on the server or whatever. Give them some praise. Give them some praise about what they do. L maybe just a little heart. Hearts in the chat, hearts in the Discord, back to Warcraft into a break, and then sock into a game versus dice for the round of eight playoffs. Be right back.